the space. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when do you want, so what do you want to do? Yeah, yeah, just tell me like how you might rate it. Um. <laughs> what, dude? What's so funny? <laughs> funny face. You don't like space, looks... man? What the fuck? No, I, I like it. It's something I build for for the meme. It looks it looks AIDS. <laughs> like if I saw this base, I just. What's wrong, dude? What the fuck? What's wrong? No. <laughs> What's the matter, man? <laughs> What's the problem? I can't get out. Jump out, man. What the fuck? I'm stuck. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this, dude? Obviously, I would be right here and then just blow right there. What the fuck is this? <laughs> 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 oh, Get the man. fuck out of here, this shit's fucking broken. Like, look, you're here. Crap. I didn't expect that. <laughs> what is this? This is Steam Summer Sale, dude. Are you serious? Yeah, dude. Ah! <laughs> This is Hex, bro! <laughs> You're a trickster! Oh my god damn it! What is under me? Is this spikes? Oh my what? Can you imagine like someone thinking he's good at the game? Like, look at this guys. Oh look, he doesn't have a code line. I'm dead! <laughs> So my friend Infinix got stuck on Rustopia on a floor that was just like this one. He figured out they used wooden walls under the floors, and that's how we came up with this one. To whoever did this one on Rustopia, hit me up so I can give you credit. All right, so here's the base. Go upstairs here, as you guys have already seen. This is what happens when you get stuck. And you can't jump out, which is the beauty of this. So once they get in here, they're absolutely stuck. There's no way out. Even if they happen to hatch this shit down, there's a barricade right here and you can't get through. So, it doesn't even matter. Let's go around the whole base here so you can see. And I have it with uh, kind of a mixture of different resources on purpose. That way it looks like a noob might have built this. All right, so here's the airlock. Uh, this is just a drop box it's sticking out like that on purpose. Uh, we got two boxes that are in here and then plus the drop box on the outside right there so you can easily transfer the loot from here to here uh, and then here's just some more boxes you got the um covered in the back there some furnaces and here is uh just another loot room nothing too fancy i wouldn't put anything too uh, high value in there all right and then coming upstairs here is where you blast the fool in the face. Bam! All right, then we got the windows right here. I uh, notice I have the box right here so I can look down. Um, you can put a bed here too. It's always nice having a bed in your base. Look out this way. Over here, we got the good old hidden uh, sleeping bag. And then here's just another spot you can shoot. And this is the bait right here. Just load this up with some wood. Look at how tempting that shit is. And of course we have our roof access. And you can just hop down here to loot if you need to. Just like that. And then one last thing I just wanna show off um, is this right here. Notice the position of the door and the ladder hatch. So if someone were to come up here jump up here then you can easily shut the door and now they're stuck All you gotta do is kill them and take their loot all right and then real quick i just want to show you guys um this is just my version of the trap base or trap house there are thousands of different ways you guys can do this as I tell you in all of my videos, this is just one way to do it. And keep in mind that other people will see my video and they'll see the base and they'll recognize that um, this is a trap base. So try to take your spin on it, you know, try to, you know, I guess this is all you really need right here. You can change it, you can design, design it your own way. You can, you know, maybe put some, some ladder hatches right here. 
So they think that, you know, this is something you can jump down into and then, you know, they get stuck right here. Uh, maybe with some walls or something, you know, you could put a door right there, just whatever, you know. Um, you can maybe make this look like it's something that they can boost into. Um, you can make a base where the entrance is on the top and then they jump down. So there's just the, the, the things you can do with this is endless. And I'm very curious to see what you guys come up with. Whatever you guys do come up with, make sure you guys send it to me on Twitter or if you guys want to keep it to yourself so no one knows, that's totally fine. I completely understand. But stay creative, guys. Make sure you guys are having fun. All right, so place your walls down real close to each other, as close together as you can. All right, now you're going to place your foundations as high as you can. Give yourself a little bit of wiggle room, though, because you want to make sure that the foundations can be placed all the way around. And also make sure you place the foundation as close to the walls as possible. Test it out. And you'll notice they stick up the sides and that's okay. Alright, and then you want to make sure you get your cupboard down as fast as possible. So as soon as you build this, slap that cubby down. If you have someone watching your back, it's safe to place these boxes, but if it's just you by yourself, I'd probably lock up this cupboard as fast as possible. Alright, now we're safe. goes here and here's for one of the low value loot rooms now for the tricky sleeping bags there we go Oh yeah, and then for the sleeping bag, let me just show you this real quick. As you can see, you cannot destroy the sleeping bag from the top. You only can destroy it from the bottom. And for the other loot room, and that third one will stick out there on purpose. Notice how I'm placing these stairs here to help me place those boxes. wall this off because we're going to switch that wall around later. Make sure your ladder hatch is placed in this direction. Use your ladder to get up since it's a high foundation. And for the airlock. Make sure you metal this one. Metal that if you want to switch the wall around so it looks a little bit more noob like. Notice if they break in here, they won't gain access to anything important. Wood up the stairs for the bait. Metal these, make sure they're backwards. Doesn't really matter too much, but just so it looks a little bit uh, more like a noob built it. Place our backwards doorway here. I'm placing these inside on purpose. If you place some opening outwards, it makes it a little easier for the raider to jump on top of your base. You just place a wall right here. Place the spike. And a couple furnaces should do the trick. There's no problem if they're clipping through. And the rest of the walls you can kind of decide for yourself. I like to have a full 360 degree view of all my angles so I make sure that I have windows on every single side. You can use windows or doors, whatever you prefer, it all works the same. And then 
remove the roof access. And there we go. Looking good. Alright, so that's pretty much for the base. Um, real quick though, I wanted to talk about raiding this base. So it is possible for someone to use this as a main base, maybe for like a solo player since it's a pretty small base. But I do want to point something out. So if you sacrifice someone to open up this window and rock it straight in, we'll see what happens. All right, so this gives us access to both of these loot rooms. So if you do plan on using this as a base, not just a trap house, I'll show you an option here. And use a wall here instead, that way they can't shoot through. That should do the trick. Keep in mind they can get through this part fairly easy. I don't want to keep anything too important in this one, but it is two to three walls to get to the main loot or to the cupboard if you choose to do this route. All right, guys, that's it. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. If you could drop a like, it helps me out a lot. Quick shout out to all my friends who did the reactions at the beginning of the video. A special shout out to Danny T and Shacky HD. Danny's got some crazy rust plays. One dead. Two dead. Three dead. One more push. One more. And Shacky HD is a funny motherfucker. Another headshot down. All the group is gone. I am going ham. Wearing the thong. I'm running like I'm running marathons. And make sure you guys go check out I Lost My Mind. I'll link them in the description below. I'm doing an event today at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It'll be on the Rusty Moose Cinema server. I'll link that info in the description below. Everyone is invited. So if you guys want to be in my next video or if you guys just want to come hang out, make sure you guys stop by. I believe I have found that sweet middle ground with this base design. The idea behind this base is to make it easy for the owner to defend while also being easy to build and to expand. 